everyone, I am so, so, so excited about today's video. As most of y'all know, and just in case you don't, hello, I'm Becky. Um, I am a college student, so I obviously don't have a ton of money to spend on makeup. Even though I love makeup, it makes me happy, I always want to buy it, I don't have a ton of money to spend on it. So, I have the best website. Now, I've done three of these videos before, I'll have a whole playlist link down below, but it's a website called Hope Look, and I'm sure... If you've been around the YouTube scene, you've heard of it, and it's amazing. It's a flash sale website where you can get stuff for so discounted. And today, for the next couple of days, the Balm Cosmetics is going to be on there. Now, I have tried a few things from the Balm. I'm going to show you what I've tried. Tell, me, tell you if I think you should buy it or if you could pass on it. Um, and I am so impressed by the brand. I did go ahead and purchase one thing because it's 50% off today, all Balm products. So it's kind of hard, how do you not do that? So the first thing I wanted to show you all, and I believe all of these products are available. I did not see if this one was, but I'm, I'm almost positive. They do like the whole line of the Balm Cosmetics. Um, this is their Staniac. Now what this is, it's a doe foot applicator, and it's a stain. It is, well it was on the lips doesn't stain too well so let me just a high for you as you can see it's it's not it kind of gives you a like a sheer covering of this hot pink color on your lips now I think they only have one shade available um, it does say beauty queen down here but I think that there's only one shade um, unfortunately as you maybe can tell, I can definitely tell in person, this is a little splotchy, which is really unfortunate. Also, it can be used as a blush. It is the blush I have on today. It's very faint. So, I kind of just did this, and then I patted it out with my finger. As you can see, it blends out beautifully, and it does leave a pink stain. However, it is kind of faint. It's right there. I think you can hopefully see that. So it's not a super vibrant product. So for me, I wouldn't recommend this. I don't think this is a necessary product. I think there are a lot of other things that you probably like better. So that's that. Sorry, Kanga's being a crazy dog over here. The next thing I've actually done a full on review, which I'll link down below just for the sake of time. I don't want to spend like 20 minutes talking about this one item because I definitely could. And it's the Balm Jovi Palette. This is being sold right now for $19.50. Um, I didn't check the price of this. Let me think. $17.50 divided by 2 would be $8.50. So it should be like $8.50 or so. Um, but I know this is $19.50. And this is beautiful. It is a neutral palette, but it's got a couple of colors. These are gorgeous. These are, this like just adds a little bit of definition. These are all matte, neutral blending shades. I just think this is an amazing, amazing palette. And I love the names of it. This is pretty much their Mary Lum Luminizer, um, which I was not aware of when I bought it. And this is the Frat Boy Blush. It's called the Flat Frat Boy Blush. And it's called that on, like, on the back of it. But I don't remember seeing that on the website when I bought it. So there it is. So if you want the Frat Boy Blush, Look at those products. They're so pigmented. I'll do a couple of swatches just because I have to. Um, Alice Copper, REM, Blink 1982. It's kind of, it's just a little different and I love it. And Metallica is one of my favorites. Look at those. They're so, ever so slightly powdery, but I find that a lot with really highly pigmented products. These are all shimmery, but they do have mattes that are beautiful as well. But look at those. They're gorgeous. I could not recommend this enough. And on top of that, they also come down here. The packaging is perfect. I could not change the packaging at all. Super sturdy cardboard. I, I would definitely travel with it. And down here, separated from your powder products, are cream products, a cream blush. Um, you can use it as a blush or a lipstick. I've done both. So you have like a mauve neutral and then like a red. And I have used both as both, and I like it. The lipsticks are, I mean, they're slightly drying on the lips, but they're beautiful. So just look at those. I think you need this. I really, really wanted the Balm's Eye palette, but unfortunately, I can't really afford it right now because it's $22.50. 
I really, really, really want it though. But you know it'll come back. You can't you can't have everything you want at one time. So this though, if you have the money, I recommend it. Nineteen fifty. You get twelve. You get a little mirror. You get twelve shadows, a blush, a highlighter, and two cream products. I think that's a great deal. And last but not least is a cult favorite, an amazing thing. Made it to my yearly favorites, which I'll link down below. In case you want to know my opinions about other things, just so you can kind of gauge what I like and what I don't like. The Mary Luminizer. Now, I'm going to swatch it next to this because, in my opinion, they're practically the exact same. It is a champagne gold highlight. Look at it. Can I mean, can you just believe how beautiful it is? It's gorgeous. I use this all the time. I have enough product in here to last me probably 18 lifetimes. There it is. I mean, it might be slightly less gold. Like a little more sh pinky champagne, a little less gold. So this is the one that comes in the Balm Joby palette. And right here is the Mary Luminizer. So you can see it might be slightly different, but they're very, very similar. So, I love these. I have heard some people complain that they're so soft that they have broken. Obviously, I haven't had that issue. I've had this for quite a while. And I love it. I love it so much. This um, And they're selling for $12 right now. And I decided to go ahead and they have a Betty Luminizer, which is a super shimmery light pink shade. I really love shimmery blushes. I'm actually hoping, and I don't want to tell you it is, because I don't know. This baby, you've probably seen it if you've been on YouTube for a while. It's the Pantone Universe Radiant Orchid, so last year's color of the year. I'm hoping it'll be similar to this, which is Bridal Rose, because I love this blush. Um, let's just see if that's similar. Oh, no, it's not similar at all. And so, I don't know if it will be, or it could be totally different. That's the blush. It's looking a little purpley on camera, but it's straight up pink. Um... So I'm hoping it'll be similar to that. I don't know. I will definitely let you know. But the balm is great. Their powder products are amazing. I also have, oh my goodness, almost forgot to show you something. Oh, I hate it when I do that. I'll finish a video and be like, I should have talked about that. This blush, which is another really cult popular or cult favorite. It's an in-stain blush. Um, and these are crazy. So this is the shade Lace. As you can see, it is a hot, hot pink. This doesn't make any sense to me. It is 100% a powder blush. Super pigmented. That's what I've come to expect from the balm because I love them and I love highly pigmented products. And just look at that. A little crazy for a blush, but obviously with a lighter hand, it's not going to look like that on your cheeks. Let's put it on the cheeks. Why not? Why wouldn't we put it on my cheeks? Because like I said, I have that Staniac on, but it's not super vibrant. So this is a small stipple brush because I small stipple brush with this bright of a product. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Look at that. Doll face cheeks. I believe I told you this, but just in case I didn't, this is in the shade Lace. And it's beautiful. And the craziest thing about this, that doesn't make any sense, because again, this is a powder product. It's not a cream or a liquid. It just feels like a powder, but it stains your cheeks. Now, how does it do that, you ask? I don't know. I don't make makeup. But it does, and it's awesome, and you need it. And one of the other things I really like, the mom has ridiculously cute packaging. Obviously, I think we can, I mean, I think we can agree. But I really like this because if you have a larger collection like me, I hate watching people's collections. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When they have things stacked up like this, and then you're like, yeah, but you don't know what that is. You have no idea, and like, especially if you have multiple that are the exact same shape, you can't see what color that is. You don't know. Um, I'll put those back later. With this, it has the name of it. I hope you can see that. Well, maybe if it wasn't upside down. It says lace on it. So if you have this stored, like standing up, you can see it's lace. And, you know, assuming that you know that lace is this hot pink, then you're totally good. It's a beautiful... To me, this is like an African Nile princess on the front. That's what I see with beautiful cheeks that are hot pink like mine. So, yes, the balm is amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. Um, I, I say go. Let me show you. So, I'm, I'm, you saw me. This is, you know, these products that are not staining just kind of come right off. I mean, you can see them a little bit. Look at that. Still there. How? 
Or I don't know. No idea. But it is, and it's awesome. Um, I do have a link down below. Please don't attack me. Um, everyone that joins Hope Look gets a link. Um, I have mine listed down below. If you decide to use it, I get either $10 or $20 to spend on Hope Look, which I would really appreciate because then I could buy some more of the Balm Cosmetics. And again, I do have a whole playlist of different things that I have gotten from um, Hope Look. So if you're interested, you're like, I'm not really interested in the Balm. I'm interested in something else. I've had Urban Decay, Tarte, Tarina Tarantino, um, NYX goes on there, BH Cosmetics, Coastal Scents. Don't think Elf does. I mean, that's a little ridiculous. But any kind of price range. And like I said, I mean, this is $12 right now. So, I mean, that's like the same price as like the Maybelline Master Highlight Blushes. And it's beautiful. And it's huge. And it's just perfect highlighter. So, I hope this was helpful. I'm really excited about this. I love the Balm Cosmetics. I would love to own everything from them, to be totally honest. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you use my link, I am forever grateful to you. If not, you don't have to use a link. You can just go on to Holt Look with, uh, by yourself. Don't use a link. That's fine. Um, but like I said, if you use it, I get some money so I can spend it on the side so I can buy more things so I can review them for y'all. You know, that's kind of my thought process. Hopefully, y'all are okay with that. So um, thank you so, so much for watching. It means the world to me. Um, y'all make me so happy. I can't even tell you. So um, I will see y'all real soon. Bye.